This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. So in about 12 hours, I'm going to be flying to Washington for tour camp, which is so exciting because I've heard about this before. Um, the last tour camp that I can recall, there it was actually, in, I think it was in uh, Colorado, a, um, uh, a missile silo. I mean, how cool is that? Like, total NORAD, like... Uh, actually, what I'm really stoked about is the first night I'm going to get into this this epic campsite on the westernmost tip uh, of the United, of the, I guess, of the continental United States, and um, and go camping with hundreds of hackers and do workshops in geodesic domes. Um, and the first night, they're airing War Games, which is like my childhood favorite. It's, I think one of the movies that got me into the scene. I remember seeing like David Lightman, like phone freaking and thinking like, dude, epic, time to troll the BBSs for text files. And yeah, anyway, you know what I'm saying. But um, yeah, so lots of lots of packing because I'm, I'm doing a workshop there on uh, some pineapple action, some other cool Wi-Fi stuff. Uh, bringing some fun toys and um, overall just uh, excited and absolutely jam-packed errand day. You know that day where you're just like running around. I've been across town like six times it feels like. So I've also had like ten cups of coffee. So anyway, let's we'll see if we can even that out for the flight tomorrow. Cheers. That is update on the trip to the end of the world. And it's uh, like 7 a.m. making awesome time to the San Francisco airport. And there's coffee. There is coffee where I'm going. Oh, yes. Check it out. <laughs> I'm in Seattle. I know nothing about Seattle. So I'm trying to get dinner and lunch and breakfast and everything for a week at the hacker camp and, and all I can do is, is look at cheese. Man, I like cheese. So this is quite a show you guys are putting on here. It's a little something we like to do every couple of years. Well, this is, is this the second tour camp? Uh, yes, this is the second one. Last one we did three years ago in a um, Titan One missile silo out in Moses Lake. And so TorCon has been going on for the last, what, 10 years? 14. Right? 14 years. 14 years. And tour camp just started in the last three. Right? Yep, yep. And so uh, what, what was the idea behind even starting a, a tour camp? Um, it was to, the other conferences that we do are all more traditional style conferences. I mean, we're in a convention center, you have the, two, the multiple tracks, you have the podium, etc. The idea was to get people out of that environment and into an environment where we're together for the entire time. Uh, we're all camping together, like no one goes home to their hotel room at the end of the day. Yeah. We're all here cooking together, eating together, sharing food, sharing... Uh, beverages and hanging out and just having a good time playing with fireworks just putting together laser shows yeah ridiculous laser shows i love that <laughs> I, I i must say i love the idea that uh, uh you know there's no escaping to the casino floor there's no yep. you know which party are you going tonight the elitist party or the lame party you know it's like everybody's going to the same party you know <laughs> yeah um and just wandering through the camp no civilians at all it's just all us. Mm -hmm. No tourists from Boise that uh, are a little bit upset at the amount of noise that you're making. Yeah, or, or, uh, or sheep that had no idea and got on the Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. 
So it's just one big happy family here. It's a giant family camping trip. And so what's the inspiration? Like um, it draws uh, f uh, from the European hacker camps, mm -hmm. uh, but we try to put our own American style spin on it. Um, but we definitely do, we're drawing in a lot of the Europeans in here. Yeah. So we've got like a contingency of the Germans that flew in that are here for the camp and they're absolutely loving it. And we've got people from all over the country in Canada. Um, it's been quite an experience. The tents everywhere. <laughs> yeah. All the group sites are everywhere. So the art cars here. It's uh, How does uh, this one differ from the last tour camp or the first tour camp? And, uh, and what did you learn from that first one that you applied to tour camp two? Um, have trees. Yeah? <laughs> That's a big difference. The last one, apparently the US government, when they do things like missile installations, they like to put them where people aren't. Makes sense. So we were in the middle of the desert in July in 100 plus weather, which wasn't pleasant. Whereas here, we're on the beach, camping yeah. on the beach. There are trees right here. We're on the corner, northwest corner of the contiguous United States and some incredible territory up here. Just the drive up here. The drive's incredibly difficult because you have to stop every 200 meters to take another photo because yes. it's just so mind-blowing. Absolutely. It was it was fantastically gorgeous. Uh, the, the Olympiads or the Olympics or whatever. The, uh, no. How did you find the site? Um, I mean, or did you just like, hey, we're going to do, you know, let's find the, t like, scroll around Google Maps and find the westernmost tip. <laughs> See, there's a campsite. Uh, well, we, we wanted to get out of cycle with the European camps, so we weren't trotting on them. So that bought us a little bit of time to get to the uh, even years. So we've been searching for a couple years now for a campsite. And the problem is most campsites during the summer yeah. have a tendency to be occupied. <laughs> Ah, yes. So it took one that we could basically rent out the entire place and just take it over for ourselves. And it took a little bit of searching, but we finally found this place up here. And it's a beautiful country. And I guess because it's at the corner, it's a little bit more isolated. It took a bit of a drive to get up here, but like, like yeah, we said, the drive no, like, was worth it. And there's no going into town. Town's an hour away. <laughs> um, the big city is more than, more, two, more than two hours away. Yeah? Yeah. Does this loop around here? Should we? Uh, uh, there's not much going over here. You wanna yeah. Around back over here? All right. I think for I think continuity, I think <laughs> I need to be on this side. <laughs> oh, we don't care about continuity on Hack Five. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I've seen your show before. <laughs> <laughs> we try not to try. We go out of our way to buy camera gear. <laughs> Just for the conferences, though. <laughs> um, Anyway, so what did you, uh, so, so you learned you need trees. Uh, yeah, and possibly other... a lake. And yeah. by apparently lake, I mean the Pacific Ocean. It, which is going off. Yeah. Right now with fog, but otherwise going off. Yeah. And so uh, domes. Yeah. Were domes a big part of uh, last year? Or not last year, but uh, last tour camp? Um, they were. Uh, they were essentially a mini tornado food. Um, <laughs> we had a bunch of the structures. Where the missile silo, most of the infrastructure is below ground. We had to have a lot of above ground infrastructure. And we built these domes and we didn't realize that essentially the tarps on the top would become giant sails for these mini tornadoes that came by with such force that they actually bent the entire, torqued the entire structure. It was, <laughs> well, the storms are quite impressive. We have a bunch of them on video. Um, we had to go to back to the drawing board and spend a lot of time working on the domes here. In this case, we're in a resort where there is some infrastructure. It's still camping oriented, but we've got power here naturally without us having to bring it, bring it in. That's nice. We've got water here. We've got the internets. So it's not exactly Burning Man. No. Now it's um, we have the amenities here, especially the internet's, because of this, <laughs> because of who we are. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, there's yeah, still domain.com on that. Thank you guys. <laughs> yeah, those are internet sponsors, so we really appreciate them yeah, doing that. Yeah, they're sponsors Five too. <laughs> How does that work out, huh? <laughs> um, but with all the camping here, we've got I don't know if you can see all the tents that we I've lost count. Yeah. Um, somewhere so four or five hundred tents. How many uh, how many attendees? I don't have that number yet because I, I haven't gone back to registration to check, but um, definitely well above 500. Nice. Yeah. I, I love the sense of community and the fact that, I mean, sure, there is, you know, Wi-Fi here, you could Twitter, there's, um, you know, the, the cell service uh, provided by Shadytel, you know, throw up their own GSM, and yet... 
still it's like you just run into people yeah and you're just like all right well i'll see you again because you uh, you will you know <laughs> there's a great sense of community here what are you guys doing for the next tour camp as um, far as uh, building community and doing ridiculous stuff oh you, you know that bar has been raised and we've got two years to figure it out now yeah. it's going to be bigger and better next time uh probably about double the size of this one. Oh, really so the the it's going to be a much larger space that we have to work with. Mm -hmm. um, we just don't know where or when yet. And is the end of the world still on? Oh, absolutely. Tell me about the end of the world. You can't escape the end of the world. You can't, really. It's kind of, it's on the calendar, it's scheduled, and therefore it will happen. I know, because um, I, I check my Outlook. I'm joking, <laughs> I don't use Outlook. Well, what we figured is, essentially with December 21st, 2012 coming up, mm -hmm. the end of the world, we might as well go to the end of the world. Ah, where's so that? So we're getting a boat full of hackers down to Antarctica. Hackers on a boat. There you go. And how are you getting to Antarctica? Um, we're leaving actually from Ushuaia. Mm -hmm. And because it's a little bit of a journey there on the boat to get all the way down there, what we're doing is the conference itself is free. Okay. And everyone that goes is expected to present. All right. All right? So everyone's a presenter. But we do that on the boat ride down there. Yeah. Then we're down there for a little while. People have a chance to go kayaking or camping or whatever it is they want to do their free time. Mm -hmm. And the boat back is the rest of the conference. So it's kind of a unique way of having a conference, but and that's what we do. And then you spend Christmas with all your favorite hackers on a boat. Um, I believe we actually get back in time for Christmas. Oh, no way. Yep. Oh, that's yep. great. So we're not actually leaving on the 20th, 21st, but on the 21st, we will be on a boat. Oh, I see. So when the world ends, Either it's going to freeze over yeah. and we're on an icebreaker, yeah. or the polar caps melt and yeah, we're on a boat. You're, you're on a boat. I like it. It's very like <laughs> Mad Max. Yeah. That's a great insurance policy too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the Mad Max policy. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, where can people go and find out about all things tour? It would be tourcon, T O O R C O N dot mm -hmm. org. Nice. Thanks so much, Gio. Appreciate sure. it. Sure. Absolutely. If you're setting up a website to start a new business, show off your portfolio, or publish your blog, Domain.com is the best place to go for your next great idea. Need a new domain name? Consider getting yourself a .com. You see, a .com is the original domain name. It's, it's globally understood. It's the best. It immediately gives credibility to your website, no matter what you choose. Plus, if you want to invest in like selling domains, .coms have the highest aftermarket value. Find a new .com domain at Domain.com. Shannon and I love Domain.com because they're affordable, reliable, and easy to use. Plus, Domain.com's active social media presence on Twitter, at Domain.com, and great customer support make it a really fun place to do business. So the guys at Domain.com, they want to hook us all up, so they've got this awesome offer. Get this, 15% off their already affordable domain names and web hosting if you use the coupon code HACK5 at Domain.com's checkout. That's 15% off big time savings, so don't forget to use the code HAK5. When you think domain names, think domain.com.